In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my at-home tanning routine and how I achieve super glowy, olivey skin at home without laying in the sun because we don't want no wrinkles. I've been tanning for about 11 years, so I've definitely kind of mastered the at-home tan and I have some really good tips and tricks I'm gonna share with you guys. This is the tanner I've been using recently. This is the Bondi Sands Aero Aerated Self-Tanning Foam. I do tend to like a darker tan, so I usually go for like the darkest color, which is ultra dark, obviously. I've used so many different types of tanners. I used to use a brand called Skinnerol. You guys would have seen that if you watched my last tanning video. I did that video though like a year and a half ago. So I'm doing an updated one and this is now what I'm using. Of course I have my two mitts here. I basically contour my face with tan with this little mitt and then obviously you have your big body mitt. Using these like more high quality mousses you definitely need a mitt. I will link down below the one that I got. I got it in a pack I think with that facial mitt um, and it's on Amazon. It's super cheap. So I'll link that down below if you guys want to check it out. This is coconut scented too, which I absolutely love. You smell like a fresh little coconut after you've done your tan. Okay, first things first, your prep is everything. How you prep your skin before you put on the tanner basically determines if your tan is going to look good or not. So my first step in my prep process is exfoliating my skin. I like to use an exfoliating glove, but today I actually took some cane sugar and I mixed it with some coconut oil and some olive oil and I rubbed that all over my skin, making sure to really get my wrists, my elbows, and my ankles and my knees because those places are really dry and you want to make sure those are very well exfoliated and moisturized in the oil does the moisturizing and the sugar does the exfoliating or you can use an exfoliating glove that's what I do most of the time but today I just wanted to be a little extra and pamper myself so I made that DIY exfoliating scrub after you have exfoliated my next step that I always do which is actually kind of controversial because some people say not to do this I use coconut oil so after I'm done using the exfoliating glove I like to get coconut oil I take it with me in the shower and I rub it all over my shoulders my elbows my wrists my knees my ankles I just find when I do this the tanner glides on my skin like smooth shea butter it's amazing it just makes applying the tan so much easier and it also just makes your skin feel really really nice and moisturized when you get out of the shower like I said today I did the cane sugar mixed with the coconut oil that's a really good way just to kind of knock it out in one but usually I do the exfoliating glove and then I just take coconut oil in there with me and like lather that on after my body wash okay oh Duh, shave. I do shave my arms and my legs before I tan. It just makes it super smooth and soft. And yeah, that's what I do. So shave, that is the third step in our prep process. All right, then we get out of the shower. Always, always, always I do my skincare and I lotionize my body with like a nice body butter or just like any lotion that you have. Especially again, focusing on the wrist, the elbows. I like to focus on my shoulders because I like my shoulders to be just like a little extra dark. So I do focus a lot of my prep on my shoulders as well and like my decolletage. Making sure to get like the dry areas like the wrist the elbow the ankles anywhere where you kind of have like lines or creases on your body because your tan can get in those lines then it just like doesn't look good so make sure those areas are very well moisturized I also make sure I do my skincare because I actually like to tan my face like I said with the little glove I do my skincare beforehand and I apply the tan over my skincare I definitely like to let the lotion sit a little bit at least I'd say like 10 minutes before you go to apply your tanner okay the last thing I want to mention before we actually get into tanning make sure you're wearing black I have like a dedicated satin pajama set that's all black it's really cute it's like a little button up and like matching pants I always save that for the time in the week where I'm going to be tanning I like to do my tanning at night because if you put on the tanner and then like you go like do the dishes or like make stuff in the kitchen and like you get any water spots like around your hands it can damage your tan so I always like to do my tan at nighttime and make sure you're wearing black you can do like a darker set of sheets or something that would be great because the tan will stain if it does get on your sheets as long as you wait like five to ten minutes for the tan to dry before you like get into bed and stuff you should be fine but I always like to make sure I'm wearing something really dark that like covers my arms and legs before I get into bed with the tan on now it's time for the tanner then I go in with my aerated mousse starting with our big body glove right here I just put this on and I do about two big pumps and then I start at my shins and my calves then any excess that I have on my glove I go and rub that on my feet and my ankles making sure not to do the bottom of your feet if you look at like any naturally beautifully tanned person the bottom of their feet doesn't get sun so it's always like not tanned on the bottom of their feet so make sure you only do like the tops of your feet because if you do the bottoms it's just gonna look 
like you've just been stepping in dirt all day. So don't do that. That's not natural. Sadly, I've made that mistake before. Then I move on to my thighs and then I rub the excess like over my knee down to blend it in with the tan that I put on my shins and my calves. And then I just start working up. I do like my stomach, my bum, and then I move up my chest. Then I like to do my arms and I kind of go over my shoulders like a few times and I do this like padding motion. After you've like blended the tan like nice and seamlessly on your skin, I like to go back in with the mitt and like pat it in. I just feel like it gives you like a more pigmented color um, when you do that. So like I said, I like my shoulders really nice and tan. That's where the sun like naturally hits me is like my shoulders and like my forehead and stuff. So I like to make sure that's like a little bit extra dark. Also on this part on your wrist, make sure to put your hand like this and blend really well and then put your hand like this and blend the inner wrist really well. I like to go over anywhere on my body where there's like these little kind of like lines, my elbows and my ankles especially and my wrists and just make sure that it's all nice and blended right there. Also, even when you're applying this tan, if you kind of see some like streaky like spots or something, I find that after I shower off the tan the next morning, those spots are completely gone. And I don't know if that's like just the bronzer kind of patching up. So don't worry about like anything being like a little bit streaky or anything. Obviously like try not to make it streaky and like blend as much as you possibly can. But don't worry if like there's a few little spots that like look kind of weird because after you shower, those should go away so that's kind of refreshing you don't have to be like perfect with this tanner with my face like I said I do like to contour my face with tan I honestly don't even feel like I have to contour my face with makeup the next day after I've done this tan because I just look like I have like a naturally contoured face which is amazing the less makeup the better basically anywhere you would put your contour I put the tan so like this three kind of C thing that we like all heard of in makeup world that's what I do with my tanner I also make sure that when I'm doing my face, I am doing a really good job of bringing the product up and blending it into my hairline so that it doesn't look like, you know, a beautifully tanned forehead and then this like white scalp with no product on it. So blend it really, really well into your hairline, even if you get product on your hair. And then I also like to dot a little bit on my nose. Sometimes I'll even like pat it right below my bottom lip. Anywhere you would put contour, you can put tan. Just be very sparse with it because like you can always add more, but it's really hard to take it away. And you will definitely look like a dirt face, dirty Q-tip after this. Like your face is just gonna look like you rubbed dirt all over it. But trust me, the next morning when you wash it off, that's just like the bronzer. So like the next morning when you shower, um, all of that will come off and it'll just leave like this beautiful like contoured sun kiss look. It's so worth it. It looks beautiful. I just realized that it would be really easy to do this with a makeup brush as well. I just don't have like a dedicated makeup brush to like, my tanning routine. So maybe I'm gonna have to get that. Like just order a cheap one on Amazon and then you could just really easily go in and like blot the product on with like a makeup brush. That'd be a lot easier than like trying to carve out my cheekbone with this. That's totally up to preference, whether you even wanna do your face. Just like decide what you're comfortable with and what looks best on you. Another thing, try not to wear socks or like necklaces or bracelets or anything. After you do your tan, like don't wear those things to bed. If you like wearing socks to bed, maybe wear like a super loose fitted sock. You just don't want the tan to like rub off on like a really tight sock. But yeah, jewelry for me is like a no-no that night just because I wanna make sure there's like no lines and it's like seamless. Um, honestly, wait, no, I lied. I do wear this ring. I wear this ring all the time. Actually, this is on the wrong hand. It looks like I'm married. I should probably move it to this hand. I was putting lotion on the other day and when I was doing this hand, I moved the ring over and I didn't put it back. I'm not married, by the way. Like I said, I like to tan at night because like any kind of water spots or anything are just completely diminished if you do it right before you go to bed. And I like to leave it on for like eight to nine hours. So that's perfect for when I'm sleeping. And then the morning, first thing I do, I wake up and I go jump in the shower to wash off the bronzer. When you wash the tan off in the morning, like when you're doing your morning shower, you're gonna see lots of brown in your shower. My shower is brown, so like, I can't say if it stains or not because my shower is brown, so I can't speak on that. But do not use like a loofah or any kind of exfoliating or scrubbing that morning. I just like to do soap and water when I'm taking my shower just so that your tan doesn't like slough off or anything too soon. Moving on, how to prolong your tan. I really only have one tip for this, but it's basically to lotionize, put lotion on your body whenever you can with that tan on. So as soon as I get out of the shower the next morning, I lotionize my entire body again. 
The next tip really isn't like a tanning hack, but it's basically just like a super amazing glowing skin hack. This stuff right here, Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen. It's a hundred, really? Are you serious? That's crazy. It's over a hundred SPF. I don't know if it's like just this specific sunscreen or if like all spray sunscreens will do this, but oh my gosh, when I am going out, like in the summertime, I will always spray this, especially on my decolletage, my shoulders, my arms, even on your legs. This makes your skin look so good. It's like a teensy bit oily. It's basically like body oil, but it's like a spray and it looks so amazing. It just like literally makes your tan glisten and glimmer it makes your skin look so good so this is like my favorite little honestly just like summer skin hack is to use like a spray sunscreen before i go out like anywhere that my skin is showing and it looks amazing over a tan and it's sunscreen too so it's just like duh like put your sunscreen on because again no wrinkles quick thing that i'm noticing as i'm like taking this b-roll i definitely could have done like my chest a little bit more i probably should have gone over that again and i thought about it and then i was like no it's fine but i definitely would have done that like looking at these after results just to make like my chest like more bronze like this but I had the sports bra on yesterday when I was filming for you guys so I just probably didn't go over that area enough but you can definitely see like it's a little bit more pale than my shoulders so that's something I would do go over my shoulders again and then go over my chest one more time just so everything matches really nicely as you can see my skin looks so glowy and like so dewy it's perfect for summertime but honestly just like anytime that you're showing a little bit of skin if you guys found value in this video at all I would super appreciate if you would give it a big thumbs up give it a like down below for me Also, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you guys want to see more of me and come hang out on a weekly basis As always, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will talk to you in the comment section down below. Bye guys Psst, I smell like a coconut